Hello everyone and welcome back to the third part of this series on how to build a website for free without servers. Um, in the previous video we saw how to assign your custom domain to your website and now we'll see how to set up your email with this custom website um, attached to it. So you can use uh, many different mail providers. Um, so in this video, I'm going to use Zoho um, because I already have an account, I already have like a subscription there, but you can pretty much use anything you want. Uh, there is a good, good alternative if you have like low volume, it's called uh, Migadoo. And um, if you already have a, app suit, a Google App Suit or any other providers like Proton Mail or whatever, you can do it just as much. You can also roll with your servers if you want, but if the goal is to be serverless, um, Zoho is a very, very good. Um, it's a very good mail providers and also features um, a free. That you can get a forever free plan. You can get here, which include a custom domain. So. In any case, all of the um, domains and all of the, um, the configuration and the setting uh, will be quite the same. So in the first step, uh, you're going to need to verify that you actually own the domain. Um, so Zoho doesn't capture email from anyone. Uh, so we're going to go here, classic wow tools.com. All right. So it goes, so we need to verify the domain. <clears throat> so how it works usually is um, you will put some uh, txt files, uh, txt, sorry, zones in your DNS to prove that you actually own that record. Um, so we'll just say anything. All right. All right, so we need to put that string into our um, DNS zone that are managed by the zite.co um, domain management. So to do that, we're going to use the cam and line and we're going to do it just like this. So what we need is to, I'm going to zoom here, put that string in a text file takes the sorry zone in the DNS and that's how we're going to do it. So then now DNS and use your tools.com. Then I want to set it for the whole domain. It's going to be a TXT and I'm going to do something like this. All right, so it has been created. You just press verify. All right, so the, the domain is now verified. What we do, what we have to do now is set up the MX records. So basically it's uh, the records that um, outgoing mail servers are going to query to make sure they send the email at the right place. So we need to set up those MX information. So it's going to be just the same. Uh, I'm going to use now DNS add. All right, so it's going to be for the whole domain. This time it's going to be MX and MX dot Zoho.com and then you have the priority. So the first one is going to be 10. And I need to update my now CLI. Then we have MX2 with priority 20. Then you have MX3 with priority 50. All right, and that's pretty much everything that we will need um, 
in the command line. So you can choose if you have like a, a register that's really well known. Uh, Zoho can do all the configuration for you, but we just did it through the command line. So there we go. We validate this. And if we just check here, okay, you don't see it, but the validation is confirmed. Everything is good. Then we go and we have to do the SPF to make sure. Um, so the outgoing mail will just like include this information into the email to make sure it's coming from the right. Um, sorry, I'm just going to here. Okay, I can't. Okay, I'm just going to set it up here. Okay. Yes, so it's going to include this string into the um, DNS zones, just like uh, we did for the verification. But this will be used um, by uh, receiving mail servers to make sure that Zoho actually has the right to send email. So they, they have the right to send email on your behalf. So we are going to copy this and we're going to use actually just the same as we did before. And there we go. So here. Add something like this. And there we go. We can just validate, validate this. All right, so everything is good. Now what we need to do is um, MX record, we're going to verify this, SPF, all the things good. And the next part is then to create um, a user or an aliases, depending on your situation. So if you just created your account, uh, you'll just get um, your email as a new user. But if you already have an account and you already have um, a domain set up for Zoho, what you can do if you don't want to pay more, like having more users and everything, you can add what's called aliases. So in my case, I want to alias my main email um, to the specific email that I just set. So I'm going to say, for instance, that Arthur Classic Wow Tools is going to be my alias. There we go. Everything is good now, which means that every time I'm going to send um, an email to my alias account, I will receive it in my main uh, email account. So for instance, if I sent myself to myself an email, uh, I think, wow, tools, And how's it going? There we go. So I just sent myself an email. Uh, it usually takes a little bit of time to um, do all of the routing and everything for the first emails. Then after that, it's all fine. And there we go. So I received my email. And what I can do is actually when I reply, I can reply as your alias or as my main uh, email. So I say everything looks good. And there we go. And all right, so that's it. You have um, a way to add your own custom emails um, with your custom domain attached to it and uh, you don't have to rely on Gmail accounts or Hotmail or whatever and uh, this way you can make sure your branding is uh, coherent between your website and your email and uh, you still don't have any servers and if you use the free version of Zoho you'll just still be not paying anything for it so guess that's that's all um, in the next video we'll see how to set up um, 
a free database that you can access online using Mongo Atlas. And uh, after that, we'll be using this database uh, for the back end of our application. All right. So that's all for the email, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.